Good afternoon, Dr. Jen, the Intuitive Phoenix here with a, another pop-up psychic healing session. If you've never joined before, or if you want to know more about intuitive and psychic healing, energy healing, this is the place for you to come. You can ask me questions directly, or you can ask me questions about something that's going on in your life, in your business, in your career, with your pets. And we can address healing, we can clear blocks, we can create new pathways for new results, and we can do it all here. Start it in just a few minutes. So if you have got something that's got you blocked, post the comments below, post your questions below. If you are here or when you join, say hello and let me know that you're here. If we're friends, I probably can see that you're here. If you're not, if we have not connected yet, hey, Elaine, hey, Jessica, I can't always tell who's here and who's not. So feel free to jump in with questions, with comments, either things that I'm talking about. Good to see you, Jess. It's been a while. Missed you. Um, but share questions and comments below if something's got you stuck or maybe you're not feeling 100% today and you'd really like to move that out of the way or move through it so that way you can step fully into the rest of your day and your weekend. So again, you get questions, you get comments, something you want to check in on or share with me, feel free to post those in the comments. And if this is your first time, you don't have to give me a lot of details. I don't typically need those details. And if any, at any point something you're sharing with me or asking about that I would benefit from more details, I will ask you. But in a lot of cases, I don't, I don't need a detailed story to be able to address it. Just the other night I did one of these and a woman who I had not met got on and she basically said, I'm in a situation and I think it's time to leave that situation and I'm looking to get confirmation. I'm looking to get some you know, more insight into it. And with me checking in with intuition and guidance, I was able to provide her some additional information to which she said, thank you very much. It resonated and she now felt like she could move forward in more confidence with more ease on the changes that she was making in her life. So again, if you're joining, feel free to say hello, check in, let me know that you're here because I can't always see who is on the live with me. And if you're wanting to know about intuitive healing, if you're wanting to know about psychic healing, or if you want to ask questions about learning how to do it for yourself, these are, this is the place for it. If, well, if you've got a challenge in life, oh, let's see. Jess says, I've not been sleeping as well as usual for the last week. You've checked in for me in the past. My body said I only need seven hours of sleep. However, in the past week, I've been getting about seven hours each night, and I'm starting to feel tired throughout the day. I now feel like I'm needing a little more, and I'm ready for my body to let me have a little more. Okay. Um, so let's see. Does Jess's body have something to tell us about sleep? Yes. Okay, this is an excellent question, and I have worked with Jess in the past, and I do remember her body coming in and letting her know seven hours of sleep was kind of her magic number. And I will add that at any point that you work with somebody like myself or another expert, I don't care what kind of expert, when it comes to you, when it comes to your health, your well-being, 
what's going on in your life, what is ideal in a given moment can change. It can change next week. It can change three months from now. Heck, it could change in an hour from now. So when you start to recognize, okay, there's something going on, communicating with your body, with your being, to find out what it might be asking is important. So the fact that Jess is taking advantage of this and jumping on and going, okay, I think I need some more sleep and I, I want confirmation of that. And, you know, she wants her and her body to work together on that. That is awesome, beautiful. We can't get better than that. That's what it's all about. So let's confirm for Jess that this message that she's receiving, that she'd benefit from more sleep, is in fact the case that there's not something else going on. So I'm just checking in right now to make sure there's not something else that's contributing to her feeling like she needs to have some more sleep. Okay, I am getting, I did a little checking in. She is spot on when it comes to her body does want a little bit more sleep. Now, it's saying seven and a half hours would be kind of the magic number. Now, of course, I say the magic number. This is an average. One of the things that I do before I go to bed at night is ask my body, do we set an alarm for the next day? Because I do have some flexibility that I don't always have to set an alarm. I don't always have to be up for an appointment. So I'll ask, is an alarm beneficial to set? And if I get no, then I wake up when my body says, okay, I've gotten enough rest and I get up. If I am setting an alarm, then I'm gonna ask my body, what time, essentially how much sleep is my body asking for in that night? And then I'm going to plan my sleep and plan my alarm to give me that amount of sleep. Um, now, let me see, is there anything for Jess and her body to do to make sure they're on the same page? No. Okay, Jess, so I'm just getting confirmation that what you have said is true there's not any underlying reason that you feel like you need more sleep there's not anything else going on that your body wants you to know about and the fact that your body is telling you you want more sleep and you heard it you and your body are already on the same page so it is ready um, to allow you to have a little bit more sleep and I am receiving the additional message for Jess and for anybody else who's watching that if you don't have to set an alarm to get up in the morning and you're not sleeping 12 hours on a given night, um, that you're getting somewhere between, let me see what I'm, the range I'm given, like six and a half to nine hours, you're probably okay. Um, all of us need a little bit more or less sleep due to a lot of factors. But again, if you don't have to set an alarm to get up in the morning and you're not sleeping 12 or more hours um, on a routine night, you're probably good to sleep a little bit more or a little bit less um, on any given day. So thanks for that question, Jess. If you've got others, absolutely feel free to let me know. But otherwise, enjoy some more sleep. Now, if anybody else has any questions, whether it's about sleep or your business or your career or the way you're feeling, and that feeling can be physical, emotional, can be mental or spiritual, or maybe you just got a sense that, you're very welcome, Jess, uh, maybe you just got a sense that, yeah, things feel off and you quite can't quite put your finger on it. This is a place to ask that question. 
Now, Elaine comes in and asks, she says, recently some of my meds have been reduced because I'm basically tired of taking them. So I'm going to interpret that. And if this is not the case, Elaine, let us know that when she says basically she's tired of taking them, what I'm hearing is her body is tired of taking them. However, the symptoms seem to be increasing as if they are fighting me. So I'll go back to full strength meds. I want to find other ways to feel how I know I can. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to say is, yes, I am a doctor, but I'm also a doctor who doesn't prescribe medication. So I can't make any recommendations on staying at the dose that you are increasing, decreasing, or anything like that. Um, certainly not. Um, yeah, I can't do that. I, it's not within my scope of practice as a licensed doctor. Um, but I will say that when we are making changes that involve our health, involve healing, and in this case, it sounded like her body was giving indications that it was time to decrease some medication. And sometimes what happens is when we make those changes, things get worse before they get better. It actually feels like symptoms increase before they decrease and ideally resolve. It is not unusual for symptoms to for symptoms to um, get worse first. So sometimes you just have to allow and kind of basically support yourself in the ways that you can for you to get through that period. Sometimes there's really not much you can do other than try to make yourself comfortable, to be gentle with yourself, to give yourself extra rest, and know that it is going to get better. Now, if at any point, especially since we're talking about medications, something seems really off, you want to be communicating with your doctor as well because how our body and how your body responds to medications versus somebody else's can be different. Um, so if there's any serious concerns or serious symptoms, definitely follow up with a doctor right away. Um, and let me go on. Elaine has added, how can my body and mind compensate? Okay. Um, Elaine, can you give me a little more clarification on what you mean? How can my body and mind compensate? Um, now, she's asking, part of her question is, how can she support her body to go through this period of increased symptoms. Now, when I say I check in, when you hear me say I'm checking in, I'm, and sometimes you'll see me close my eyes because then I'm more focused on what's going on internally. Our body is constantly giving us messages. It's constantly communicating with us. Because we are so busy, because we're constantly thinking, constantly doing, we don't always recognize those messages. So I suggest, yeah, getting quiet for a moment, maybe doing a few deep breaths and going into your body. And I do this with clients too. And anybody who's watching, I mean, feel free to join in closing your eyes and doing some nice, easy, deep, deep breathing and go into your body and you can ask, is there anything that I can do or anything I'm being asked to do to support my body as we make these changes? and see what you're getting for a response. Now, I have a system that I've developed 
through being a chiropractor and learning different chiropractic techniques. And over the years, I've tweaked it and adapted it and added my own, yeah, my own unique signature to it, I'll say. Um, so sometimes people say, you know, is what you're doing, and they'll name some technique. And I can tell you that typically I have no idea what they're talking about. Um, because the techniques that they're talking about or they're mentioning are not ones that I've learned. What I do when I go in is ask my body questions and then listen for the answers. And that's what I help clients do. So, again, what I'd like you to do is go in your body. And when you're out of your head, you can connect with your heart or your gut if that's easier, and look for the answers there. What is my body asking for me? What does it want me to do? How does it want me to take care of it? And then listen to what comes. It can sound strange, but I just did this with a client um, yesterday afternoon, and she's not someone that knows any healing techniques. Um, she wouldn't call herself a healer. Um, and she was experiencing some pain and she had a list of things that she actually wanted to check in on. And when she closed her eyes, paid attention to her breath, went into her body, she was able to answer all of her que own questions. I, at that point, just confirmed them. So Elaine, if you're listening to this still, I want you to go into your body and ask those questions. How can I support you? You know, ask your body, how can I support you in this transition? Word it the way that you want. Word it in a way that's comfortable for you. And let me know what you get for a response. Now, I can tell you sometimes people are quick to say, well, I don't know what it's saying, or it's not saying anything, or, well, it's saying this, but I don't know if it's true. If you're hearing, feeling, seeing, knowing, getting a sense of a response, it's probably the response that you're looking for. Now, I will clarify. If when you ask the questions, you went up in your head and that's where the response came, I wouldn't necessarily trust that like a response that comes from my heart or my gut or from somewhere else within my being. That's where when I receive information from within myself, within my heart, from within my gut, from within my body, being in my body, those are the answers that I'm going to trust. Now, yesterday, working with this client, she would, I could tell from, well, I could just tell, energetically tell, get a sense when an answer came to her. And then in the next breath, what started to happen is she was already doubting the response. It seemed like it was too easy. And yet, when I went in and checked in, I got the same information. So I was able to confirm that for her. So again, Elaine, let me know what you get for a response. Because it's time we start trusting ourselves. And again, when I say ourselves, I mean us as a whole being, not just the information that comes from our mind, not just logical thinking, but when we connect to the whole of us, our body, our being. We're communicating with our heart and our gut. We have access to so much more information. When we're just relying on our logical mind, we're only using about 5% of our brain capacity. Forget about the fact that our body is connected to everything that is. So it has access to a lot more information. Hi, Debbie. Welcome. Hey, Tamala. Now, if you're just joining or you're watching at a later time, if you've got questions, if you've got comments, 
something that you want to share, maybe you're experiencing something or you're stuck on something and you want to be able to move through those blocks. You want to be able to create new pathways for new experiences and new results. Feel free to post those questions or the comments and I will, I will respond to them. And of course, if you're here and haven't already said hello, say hello because I can't always tell who's here. Um, if we're not, if we haven't met before, I won't be able to see you when you join in. So the only way that I can tell that you're here is if you say hello. All right. So we'll wait to see um, what response Elaine's body and being has for her. Uh, let's see if she's okay. Well, while Elaine is doing her work and checking in with her body and being, Tamala says, feeling the pressure today as I have moved forward. Okay. So moving forward into something new, following what you're being called to do, stepping outside your comfort zone. All of these things tend to lead us to maybe be excited at first, but then fear, anxiety, doubt, uncertainty, um, pressure, all of these other things can come in. Not unusual. And yet we can create a whole story around it. We can get all ca caught up in what I call my shit storm. Kind of starts to feel like it spins and yeah, it just catches me. It is key at that point if you can't step out of it yourself, or I say step out of it, I mean step out of that whirlwind, step out of that survival mode into a relaxed, connected, grounded vibration, energy, and connection. One, when you recognize that, we want to move out of survival mode. We don't want to be making decisions, even simple decisions, from survival mode because that's the purpose. If our body's in survival mode, the answers that you're going to receive to your questions, even minor ones, are going to be about survival. We want to be grounded. We want to be present, connected. So if you find yourself through the course of a day in that storm, and that's the way it feels like for me. That's why I call it my shit storm. Um, I feel like it starts to pull me in and spin and, you know, you feel a little, well, you feel ungrounded. You feel disconnected. That's not the place to make decisions from. You want to take the time to get back in your body. And that can be through meditation. It can be through, <coughs> excuse me, deep breathing. It can mean going out and putting your feet on the ground, maybe feeling the sun on your face. For some people, it's turning music on and dancing. I feel it when I'm in a session or connected like this where I'm sharing healing i'm connected and grounding i'm connected and grounded when that happens um so let me see if there's specific information for tamala um let me see is there specific information for her okay no so what i just shared about taking the time so tamala this is for you um Oh, <laughs> she, I just moved my comment so I could see because I could tell somebody commented and she said, yes, yes, you've nailed it. Okay, so that's awesome. Um, so I'm going to reiterate this for me and for others who might be watching. Don't make decisions when you're in survival mode. Don't make decisions um, or try to move forward in new directions, in new ways, even if you're excited about them, if you're not grounded and connected. Take the time to do that first because you'll get better results after um, because you've moved out of that survival mode. 
All right. Elaine, are you still there? Let's see if she's got any feedback for us. And again, if you're still here, feel free to say hello. Feel free to ask your questions, share your comments, whether it's about what I do, intuitive and psychic healing, if you want to know more about that, or if you've got something specific going on in your life, your business, your career, with your pets, that you'd like some more insight into. I know I really started delving into this work when I found while well, life was good and overall I didn't have a lot of complaints um, I knew there was something more for me I knew well I didn't want to settle I didn't want to settle I really wanted to be able to step fully into what I was being called to do and living life in a really awesome vibrant an amazing way and that's why I followed this so if again if you have questions if you have comments you want to know more whether it's about me or something with you feel free to post those comments below whether you're watching this live or you are watching a recording I will respond to you um, okay I'm not sure that Elaine's still with us but she also may be communicating with her body. Um, sometimes the answers come really quick, sometimes they take a little longer, and sometimes when we go within and we don't get a response right away, it just means there's not something particular for us to do in that moment. Sometimes, and I know for me, this is one of the hardest, when I go in and ask questions at times because I want things to be moving. I want things to be changing. I want the results coming in. I want manifestation um, to happen. I want it to be now. I want it to be here. And sometimes the message is allow. Allow things to flow. That there's not anything that I'm being asked to do to move it, to push it, to pull it, to make it happen. That I have to stop and allow things to unfold and that may mean I'm in discomfort and even some even sometimes a bit of pain to just allow things to move through and to me that's one of the hardest things to do is just allow I like to do things and get them done all right well, I'm not seeing any other comments or questions at this time. Now, if you want to know more about intuition, to me, that's the foundation of everything that I do. And it's what I help clients to develop and connect to and further develop for themselves. Because intuition to me is a game changer. If we can access when we can, not if, when we can, because yes, I'm answering questions, I'm sharing information, and if you've joined either this, you're welcome, Tamala, either this pop-up or others, you'll see comments like Tamala sharing a few minutes ago that yes, I nailed it. Um, I'm happy to say that that happens regularly, that people are like, oh, Yep, you hit the nail on the head, the spot on, that resonates, that was perfect. Like you read me like a book. Those are the things people are sharing with me. And I'll be the first to say, if somebody would have told me I was doing this five years ago or ten years ago, I would have said, yeah, you're nuts. Like I, I can't say I imagined this. I mean, I went to school to be a doctor. So one of the things that I've come to understand is we all have these abilities within us. We all have the abilities to be intuitive. And yes, that gut feeling you get on occasion, but we also have the ability to develop it so we can access it at any given point to allow us to make changes easier in our lives, to support us in stepping outside our comfort zone, Sometimes we think like, oh, maybe I should be doing something differently, but our mind talks us out of it. 
But when we connect to our whole being, when we connect to our intuition and ask questions there, we can trust that information that we start to receive. And it's literally transformational. It's literally a game changer. And if you want to know more about how you can develop your intuition for it to be a game changer in your life, either post in the comments, game changer, or send me a private message because I am offering a six week live course on intuitive confidence. I want you to be able to do this for yourself. I want you to be able to ask questions and get answers. I want you to be able to empower yourself and feel that confidence just continue to build within yourself. So yes, you can enjoy life. So you can get the results in your life that you're wanting to get. You can achieve your goals. You fill in the blanks so you can do, well, whatever the hell you choose. And so if that's something that sounds interesting to you, sounds like something that you would benefit from, then again, post Game Changer in the comments or send me a private message because this is a six-week live course and it's 50% off if you book by, let me see the date, Tuesday the 25th. So if you want to work with me directly and develop your intuition so you can access it when you need it, when you want it, and trust the responses, then post Game Changer in the comments or send me a private message. All right. And if nobody else has other questions or comments, then, and I'll wait just a moment, um, or if you do, last call, last call for questions, comments, or for me to step in and help you clear blocks, clear pain or discomfort, or help you get unstuck, whether it's in your life, your career, your business, with your pets. I use it with my pets on a regular basis. Um, I have less worry, less stress, less tension, because I can use my intuition in every area of my life. All right. Well, it has been great talking to you. Thank you for those who shared a question or comment with me in this pop-up psychic healing. If you want to be able to join in the future, then there's an option for you to be able to receive notifications every time I go live. So click on that so you know when I'm going to be here. And what else? And then, of course, you want access to 50% off my six-week live intuitive confidence course. Post Game Changer in the comments or send me a private message. And if you're watching this recorded and you've got questions or comments at that time, feel free to post them. I will get back to you as well. All right, and Tamala says, love to you, love to me, um, and I'm sending health and love and ease in your transformation. Until we connect again, I'll talk to you later.